So for today's video you might notice that I'm doing something a little bit different than usual uh, and if you have followed me for um, some quite some time you might notice that uh, I'm trying to give you guys each day a kind of a speed paint or a sketch uh, and usually that consists of an um, architectural um, environment concept thing and uh, but for today I wanted to do something a little bit different since uh, you know architectural is cool and all but um, from time to time it's good to keep a fresh perspective and uh, draw some characters or creatures um, even vehicles or whatever you feel like so um, you know that will help you uh, stay in shape with um, every aspect of um, concept art and you know just uh, and and that's especially good if you do that for a living and you know some clients require you to do uh, characters not always environments so um, you, you might say that it's good for business as well so um, yeah that being said for today's uh, daily drawing I'm creating a um, creature, monkey-like creature, sort of speak, with um, pretty, pretty human proportions. Um, I'm mainly focusing on the pose and on design as well. I'm trying to keep it as loose as possible. Um, shapes are pretty much what interests me, and uh, positive and negative spaces. Uh, so uh, that that's pretty much. Um, what I focus on when I design any any kind of character, um, any any kind of concept. Uh, so that's that's pretty much what I'm what I'm what I'm doing. Um, other than that, it's it's pretty much um, it's you know I'm 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 more of a fantasy -ish type of guy. So I'm doing a lot of um, ancient civilization. Um, you know, tribal, uh, lost civilization type of characters and environments, mostly because I'm fascinated about um, um, the lost, um, the lost past of our Earth, kind of, uh, and I'm extremely curious about what's lost in our past and uh, what has been and, you know, we haven't discovered yet or cannot discover at all. So I'm um, I'm I'm using that uh, I'm, I'm I'm using that uh, drive to generate whatever I feel that it might be cool to have in our past. Uh, so so you know this this character and pretty much every every character as that's gonna come it's gonna be um, my interpretation of uh, you know let's design a new race. Um, human-like kind of, perhaps a different breed of monkey evolved into intelligent, uh, to, to be intelligent and create architecture and whatnot and, um, you know, throw a little bit of magic here and there, um, especially if you want to design something megalithic. Um, yeah, so for, for, for this one, for this daily, I'm doing this monkey guy, you know, who's kind of angry. Uh, his um, his clothing and fashion is inspired by African uh, culture, you know those tribal African cultures, um, and yeah, that's you know nothing fancy. Again, it's a daily daily drawing. I'm pretty much thinking those things on the spot. So if you um, if you notice some mistakes and so on, um, that's fair enough. Um, I would love to. Um, hear your critiques and opinions about those and uh, you know know if you like them or not uh, so yeah that's but yeah in regards of uh, me thinking about those I'm pretty much generating them on the spot see what works what not um, you know and if if by accident I strike gold and find something that I really like I keep pushing that that topic forward um, the same as I did with the uh, obscure architecture so uh, now that the line art is out of the way 
or the sketchy line uh, I'm, I'm going to color this quick rough and I'm always doing a flat big shape behind the lines which will cover most of the character and then I start applying um, colors on usually multiple layers but right now I'm pretty much confident to do it everything in one maybe two layers but that's besides the point. So, you know, adding the colors is um, again a big, big uh, topic because it's, um, you know, colors are something which spark our eye and, um, you know, lines are beautiful and all, but um, they are very limited. So it's good to push those concepts a little bit more you know I'm, I'm I'm not investing a lot of time with those um, colors uh, actually with those renderings um, but I do like to put at least the main colors since I have such a limited time which is usually below two hours so um, yeah and that's what I'm doing so adding the skin tones the the garment I'm trying to find a beautiful color balance, blending the colors here and there. Um, you know, and at each step which I'm doing, I'm trying to take a step back and look if everything looks good. So what I mean by that is that I'm not moving forward to the color phase if the line art doesn't look decent enough. And I'm not going to... Um, shadow i'm not adding shadows and light until the main colors are looking good and so on and so forth and i encourage you to do the same to avoid um, having some hard times later in the process so um yeah and this piece is pretty much coming to an end um, i'm trying to keep those below 10 minutes so you guys won't get bored and skip the video <laughs> so uh, yeah that's that's what i'm pretty much doing and uh, now I'm doing some final retouches, see, you know, adding some details, selling this piece, uh, this sketch uh, better, you know, and uh, adding some rim light, and that's pretty much, pretty much it. Thank you guys for checking this video, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new one. And yeah, thank you for your support, and see you. Bye, bye bye.